All right, guys, sit down because class is in session oh, and stop the madness. Go ahead. Lucky you. We have the New York Stock Exchange Einstein attending as well as our substitute teacher today. So, Peter Tuckman, welcome. She's, she's your everyone's ideal substitute teacher. What's up? For those that haven't entered this market yet, what exactly is going on when stocks go up? So when it goes up or it goes down, that means people are at supply and demand. This is an auction market. Really important to know that. These are valuations. People are buying stocks at a certain price. You know, if, if Boeing has good earnings and they're selling a lot of planes, people are buying it. If they're not and they lose orders or things are happening in that industry, you know, pricing is going up on, 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 on airline building, then you're going to see it go down, supply and demand. Okay. okay. But as they're weighted within an index, different stocks have a much bigger effect on the market. Gotcha. Now let's say I want to buy a stock. How do you come up with the price? Okay. So the price is also supply and demand. Okay. So if, to, uh, if you want to buy and sell stock, it's called a market. On the left side of the market are the bids and how much they're willing to buy. On the offer side are the offers and how much they're willing to sell. An offer is a seller, a bid is a buyer. In any marketplace, you're going to have people who want to buy it for any number of reasons. People want to sell it. So the the, the price is determined by an auction market. If somebody walks in to a farmer's market and they have to buy tomatoes that day, they're going to be willing to pay whatever it costs to buy them. If there's a limited amount of tomatoes and there's a, a, a multiple buyers, then the price will go up, right? More buyers and sellers will determine a higher price. More sellers and buyers will determine a lower price. But markets, now they're electronic. Back in the day, it was open outcry and it was screaming and yelling. But today, in electronic marketplaces, if I want to buy 100 shares, I look at the market, it's offered at 28 and a penny, I'll buy 100 shares. If another buyer comes in, it's no longer offered at 28 and a penny, and he has to buy stock because his customer or his portfolio manager has determined he wants him to have it in his portfolio, well, then I may pay 2802 or 2803. And if the sellers see multiple buyers coming in, well, they may step away. As in any auction market, whether you're buying baseball cards, Pokemon cards, Nike stock, or tomatoes in a farmer's market, the more buyers determines a higher price, more sellers determine a lower price. It depends what somebody wants to buy for it. That's all. And, and what happens if there isn't a buyer when there's a seller, or there's not a seller when there's a buyer? We exist. So the floor of the stock exchange, which differentiates itself from electronic markets, is that they're here to create a smooth and active market, which means to give uh, depth and liquidity to a market where there's no public. So the reason these guys are here, they represent the corporations, they represent the banks that, that, um, that, that bank them, right? that capitalize their trading, and they're also there with the determination that if they're sellers and there are no buyers, that they have to buy it. That's the difference. It's like that old It's a Wonderful Life story about closing the banks. We never close here. If there's stock for sale, there is someone who has to buy it at a price determined by, by, by not only the market, but by them. It doesn't mean to say if there's 10 million shares to sell that they have to buy it right tightly. They will determine where is right. I mean, there may be bad news on a company, you know. There are stocks that have gone from 100 down to 2. You know, we've seen it happen in Bitcoin a little bit recently. More sellers than buyers. But there's always value. There's an underlying value in a stock. These guys, these market makers, who are some of the most important people down here, are the ones who have to buy it when you want to sell it. There's always a market. That's what makes it differentiates the stock NYSE than any other market is. There's always someone to buy it at a price. You're never going to get stuck without, with the bell ringing and not going home and you didn't get a chance to sell or buy your stock. Well, what a great place to have a classroom today, especially at the New York Stock Exchange. And speaking of Bell, the school is out. Peter, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks again next week.